anything to lose, Mr. McCreary. <sighs> How much? You know my price. No. Five. You're cool. I don't care. You bastard. Okay. Now, the guy lives in an apartment on Denver between V and W. He's holed up there pretty tight. I left a rifle for you in the trunk of a car at the corner of Albany and M. So go there, give me a call. Calculating route. Coming up in the next classic raging rock block. Two hundred yards. Yeah, like Turn left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? Being an actor, it's really hard. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna say somebody else's words and then go sit in a trailer. In fifty yards. Turn right. Working long hours for sometimes a week straight. In two hundred yards. Some days I get hammered when doing Tai Chi on the beach, and the next day uh, I wear glasses and talk about suffering. Uh, I'm not gay, by the way. Uh, well, uh, why don't we just take a call? You then? have okay. a ride. Yeah, Brandon. Hey, I'm a big fan of your work, man. How you pretend to be other people and then spend all the rest of your time telling... I work. found the place. Okay, the mopes hold up in his apartment. It's on the fourth floor on the east side of the street. Go up onto the roof of the building opposite to get a shot at him. What if he isn't standing by the window? Then use your damn imagination to get him to the window. Jesus! Call me when it's done. My goal in life is to prove it to everyone. You know, do some opera, drink some pomegranate juice. People don't have enough antioxidants. I worry about the prison industrial... Son of a bitch! Take it easy, brother. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Hey, Be sorry, man. Oh, watch yourself. <gasps> I dealt with him. You did the right thing. I hope that the kids out there get this message and realize that there are better paths to take. I'm not interested in your sermon, Mr. McCreary. Let's not pretend that this was anything other than business. There's nothing wrong with admitting that you've done some good. The community thanks you. One percent better. If a hundred people manage that, it'd be a hundred percent.
Where are you going, man? Here we are. It's a wrap. I want to bring the reality of TV dramas from the loss of time. Kate, uh, it is Nico. Uh, we met with your brother, Packy. Uh, he gave me your number. Hi, Nico. What's up? I was wondering if uh, you wanted to come out with me sometime. Or maybe we do something together. Okay. That could be interesting. I don't normally socialize with Packy's gangster friends. But sure, pick me up in the next hour. See you then. It's nice to get to know you, too. It seems like I've gotten pretty close to everyone else in your family. <laughs> you poor bastard, you have. I don't normally socialize with people that know my family. I try to keep those two sides of my life separate. I guess it's nice to be honest for a change. Rather than keeping my secrets about my family from you, you're probably keeping secrets about my family from me. No comment. You don't normally take the guys you date back to meet the family? Date? This isn't a date, Nico. We're just getting to know each other. We might be friends and that's all. I couldn't date you. Someone like my brothers? I couldn't do that to myself. All right, then. This isn't a date. We're just two people hanging out. That's it. 
But it's nice. I'm enjoying myself. Me too. There he is, Nico Belek. Nico, these are my two brothers. Well, two of my brothers, the two that count. Derek and Gerald. Hi. Derek has just returned to the family fold after a good few years in the old country, involved in the struggle. Sort of like you, I'd imagine. And Jerry, Jerry's the man. And you remember Michael, St. Michael? <laughs> yes, yes, it's uh, nice to meet you. <laughs> Nico's a trip, man. I met him through that Puerto Rican coke dealer. So you want to involve him in family business? What do you know about him? What I know is he likes a fight and he ain't the fucking law. Oh. No offense, mister. That ain't good enough. Well, it's good enough for me. He's a good lad, Jerry. Uh, was I talking to you in Brett Halfwit? <clears throat> I make a point of not talking to the unfortunate victims of brother-sister marriage. Don't you speak about my parents like that. Oh, you're like fucking Cleopatra. Fifteen generations of brother-sisters fucking, and you're so thick you take orders off my idiot brother Packy. Who's so stupid, he had to tattoo his name on his arm. If there is a problem, I'll go. No trouble. I have other ways of making money. There's no problem. Jerry just likes to think he knows best about everything, which is why he's been married three times already and still won't admit he likes men. <laughs> <laughs> ah, no problem. I'll leave you boys to it. Don't screw up. Packy, take care of Derek. He's been away. And you? Nothing personal, but don't fuck with my family. Or I will fuck with yours. All right, we're heading to the Southern Algonquin branch of the Bank of Liberty. Nico, you're the designated driver. With the healthcare industry. Uh, Calculating route. Let's do this. Industry, a trillion dollars, a trillion rotten deals and broken Please promises. make a U-turn where I say. Made to you and dirty needles. For what? I teach 20. All right, here's how the shit is going down. We're gonna go inside and each take down a security guard. Me and St. Michael here are gonna handle the civilians, while Nico and Derek manage the employees. Anyone tries anything, you put them down hard. Once the situation has been controlled, Derek's going to rig the vault door with explosives. I got enough PE4 here to get through anything they throw at us. PE4? I never heard of that. It's some limey name for C4 that Derek here picked up over there. I ain't having this argument with you, Patrick. Safe to say, what we're using is controllable enough to go through any vault door without incinerating whatever's inside. Not gonna leave much residue on the notes either, so they should be washable. Well, they're going to be washable, all right. Can't wait to see what sort of kick C4 residue is gonna give me when I snort up a line of chop through one of them notes. First. You're a fucking charmer, Patrick. Second, it's P.E. 4, not C. 4. Whatever, at least I'm honest about my habits, Derek. You know nothing about nothing, Patrick. I'm honest about me demons. Hit the needle on the old head there, did I, Derek? Expression is, hit the nail on the head, Packy. Really, Michael? You don't think I know that? And Jerry was right about you, Mikey. Your parents must have been twins to produce a kid as dumb as you. I'm surprised you ain't got three eyes, no balls, and a club foot. Don't bring my parents into this, Packy. All right, all right. Do we all know what we're doing? Once the vault door blows, I want Nico and Michael to go down into the vault to get the money while me and my brother handle the crowd control. All makes sense to me. If you guys can stop arguing for a few minutes, then I think we might be okay. fees to cover these prescriptions and CEO bonuses. HMO's are trying to And next thing you know, the doctor's prescribing heavy sedatives for every splinter or rash. And who gets to pay for this? The insurance companies, which we are obliged to mark up and pass on to you in denied coverage claims. It breaks my heart. There's just, there's just too many pills, man. It's making our immune system weak. My mom was a, was a, was a, was a 
Has a warrant. This is it, boys. Moment of truth. None of you fucking fucks move! Get on the floor! None of you is gonna get a medal for playing hero. All you're gonna get is a bullet to the heart. Don't none of you worry about nothing. We're here for the bank's money. It's going to a greater cause. Shut up and handle the safe! Open the door. Open the door. Open the door! Open the fucking door! Okay, okay, wait a minute. I got it. Get on the floor! Now! But, sir... You too. Okay, okay. Hey, yo, I'm a gun club member. I'm gonna take these rookies downtown. Are you with me? Hey, what's your name, son? Luis, but this ain't such a good idea, bro. Yeah? They said catching that pass in my high school championship football game was a bad idea, because I broke my leg in 13 places, but I scored a touchdown and won the game. The world was built out of bad ideas, my friend. Come on. The PE4 has been molded and is set to explode in 60 seconds. Now listen, people, we're your friends. Me and me brother here. Why are you telling them we're brothers, you idiot? That's gonna make it hard for them to find us, isn't it? I'm trying to be honest with these people. We put them through a lot today. Fuck these people, fuck your cause. That shit's over. Ireland's not the only thing that's green. Dollars are too. Now you've said bloody Ireland. That's gonna narrow the search, ain't it? Fuck you. Take the needle out your arm, then tell me what to do. I'll let you tell me what to do when you stop shoving half a Bolivia up your nose every Saturday night. Motherfucker! <laughs> Fuck! Oh. We told you not to fuck with us! Oh. Shit! Michael! Say fucking Michael! <laughs> fucking shit! Get the money! Me and my brother will watch the kids!
no matter where you are or how much gunpowder is in you. Packy. 
He was happy as folks for Didn't matter what you were saying. Yeah, well, now I gotta explain to his folks that his son is lying dead on the floor of the bank and gun. Well, give them his cut. When your kid is living a life, you gotta expect someone to come through the door and break this sort of news. That does not make it any easier to hear. And we aren't safe yet. Eye on the road, Nico. We don't want you to have to break no bad news to our mom. Neither do I. Thanks, Nico. You're a damn good man. I wasn't just driving you two. The money was in the car as well. Remember that. We won't forget it, Nico. Here's your cut. I tell Jerry you did good. He might give you a call or something. A gift I learned the Romans. Take me to money, Here we are. Then, Great, so thanks. Come in, Nico. Hi. So. You fought in the war. You know a lot. Yes, you're looking for some people. We're all looking for that special someone. But most of us don't want to kill them when we find them. Most murders are committed by people you know. Most wives are killed by their husbands. Yes, and my wife had better stop sleeping with that tennis coach or... <laughs> I'm joking. I'm sure your wife doesn't need to sleep around. Well, I'm joking. I'm sure she does. Funny. I'm divorced. My wife can sleep with whoever she wants. Interesting. I'm not divorced. I was never married. No details. I need you to go find someone for me. I'll be getting a picture through shortly. This is important. So why use me? We always use people like you. Karen, Michelle, she was the same. Someone with something to lose, but not much to live for. What's in it for me? Two things. One. You don't get a hundred murders pinned on you. Two, maybe I will help you. And maybe I won't. Now get access to a police computer and wait for my message. Go!
Gotcha. You wouldn't believe what I was You are about to experience pain on a whole new level.